Ja? Oh, I closed the micro. Not a bumpy. <laughs> All right, I need to <laughs> and then um plugin plugin equals main dot get plugin all right <laughs> named no name spaced key name tag key that should do <laughs> shaped recipe recipe equals new shaped recipe for our name tag key with the custom ah uh, i didn't um i didn't create the item yet itself <clears throat> Da 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 it's not the same thing. Um, it would be the exact same thing as what we did here just a second ago. Uh, and then we just do rug leather key with a shapeless recipe with our custom custom item. Crafting items dot rug leather. There we go. Because we will be using 
this is our resource uh, and we don't actually give it a shape. So it would be a shape less recipe. There we go. Uh, maybe I'll have a shape recipe in there. I can leave it in there. Okay, then I do recipe dot add ingredient item stack new recipe choice exact choice and then crafting items dot salt so that exact item and then also recipe dot add ingredient of two material dot leather okay and then plugin dot get server dot add recipe and then my recipe okay that's on the register recipe obviously so um we have avoid um rugged leather recipe and then i throw this in there and then i can put rugged leather recipe in there Awesome. Now I need to register it, which I just uh, call in um, main. Void register custom crafting. Oh, my music, no. Well, I guess this is not how it works. I guess it's new item recipes dot register item recipes and then I would do logger.info registering custom item recipes and I guess I can do the same for armor first item recipes armor recipes dot register armor recipes mm <laughs> Okay, let's make this one specific recipe. Just the helm will do good, I guess. So it is a shaped recipe with um Oh, the end result. Okay, we have to make so we have crafting items. I should make um armor so we have custom items crafting items and then armor items i guess yeah armor items why not i don't have to do anything weird here right Okay. Rugged leather helmet. It's an item stack based off of the leather helmet. 
data string will just be rugged leather. Oh, actually, rugged leather helmet should do. And I think that is it. Instead of rugged leather helmet, it's called rugged helmet. And that should be it with the item. It's based off a level helmet, data string, direct helmet, item meta. We set the name, we set the custom model ID, we set the item meta. Later on, we're actually going to add way more meta to it, like lore. <clears throat> okay, then we can go here and we can go to armor item dot uh, i should have changed this to items rugged leather helmets I can get my baby play, play, play. Okay. So this is a shaped recipe. And then we need to do recipe dot shape. And then we need to do the three rows. So the helmet was three items, item, space, item, and then space, space, space. It's a three by three. Then recipe dot set ingredient for it's a char, not a string. There. Slash should be our um new recipe choice. So just like we did before, new recipe choice, exact choice, and then custom no crafting items dot rug leather so specifically that item and then we register it plugin dot get server dot add recipe and then our recipe and then we can add rug talent to here Okay, so this is the test to see if custom items and such work. I still need to do a on entity um, on entity is killed event. No, wait, I don't. Ah, I don't, I don't, I don't. Okay, so I'm assuming the... Yeah, the rug leather recipe is here, that recipe is here, and the item salt drops, which I added in the mine block for sand. There's just a random chance that it drops, 5%. Alright, let's, oh, uh, let's, let's, let's test this out first. And then we'll do some, ah, uh, I thought so. I knew I had a namespace somewhere. Awesome. I hope it doesn't start in full screen. I purposefully did remove that before. 
Oh, we got an error. Hog. Okay, that's my fault. I changed the name of the main class to main. I can't read. Ah, no. Wait, really? Am I stupid? Oh, I changed to I changed it to forager. No the melody. Let's see if I can change the name, if that's allowed. <laughs> I'm surprised we even got to that point. No! Cannot get data block for not block leather. Oh. Well, I guess it makes sense. But I'm not getting a data block, I'm creating one. <laughs> no shit, I commented out two lines of code. Oh, no wonder it skipped salt. No, 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 no. Yay! It worked. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Aish. Scruff. Okay. Now it only. <laughs>
Now we went through it all. No, we didn't go through. No, the recipes registered. So they did. So we just have to go through the items. Nothing else happens after the items. So it should work. And if it doesn't, I'll screw. Okay, it worked. Oh, I found my way back home. Hell yeah. Alright, let's gather up some sand, shall we? Also, where's my PC lagging? Huh. Maybe it's still loading everything in. Do 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 do. Alright, it's a five percent chance. Let's go get some sand. Do 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 do. No errors on the server yet. Maybe I fucked up my RNG generator. Oh, nope, there we go. Okay, well, it's only one. Ah, oh, there's another one. Okay, I didn't fuck up my RNG generator. I would be surprised. I'm pretty sure I know how random works. Yeah, if I get in the next two, then it kind of works. Ah, oh, close though. Well, it's obviously not a guaranteed every 20, so, but it's been close. Close. Well, it's not a mod. So you just throw it into your plugins folder on the server. Okay, I'm lost. Hi, by the way. So mod, and, and so so mods require client um, modifications, which means you would actually have to have them downloaded on the client. Plugins are completely server side. Well, ninety percent server side. You can still do fancy resource pack stuff, which is basically just changing the UI through a specific pack that you download, but it doesn't modify the client in any way. Only visually. So I'm currently testing co uh, custom crafting. Okay. So it has to be two separate from each other. And I need one more. I'm stupid.
Oh my goodness, how unlucky am I? I just want one salt and it's dark. Drop it. Come on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on, all I want is one drop so I can continue writing code. Okay, now I'm actually unlucky. Oh. There it is. Oh wait, I had one in my hand the whole time! <laughs> It works. Eek. Coolio. Now I've rugged leather helm, so custom items work. Ah, uh, give me a second. Okay. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Let's check this out. Everything works as intended. Wow, who would have thought? After like 10 times having a, a lot of code that I shouldn't have everywhere, but you know. Okay, what's next? Uh, I want to do a user interface of some sort. So it opens an inventory screen and it showcases the stats of your uh, of your character, so your current stats. So this is all item based. So all the items just go in there and they need metadata, which contain the information of what, what you want to showcase. So I'm going to use my little cheat sheet, which is basically a plugin I've already written ages ago. Uh, but I'm going to improve it by doing it 10 times better because my logic but two years ago is different than it is now. To me. Huh? Dun-dun. Ah, oh. that's why. The spooky thing about this is I don't have it backed up. So if I, uh, my computer dies or something, this shit is gone. And then later, we're going to add a system where we give every single mob custom health, custom defense, and custom stats. And then they become stronger the further away they are and have like a scaling system of some sort. And I think that, that, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I think that would be pretty cool. Add a little RPG into the game. Okay. 
I have a utilities group somewhere here. Item utility. I'll make one called lore utility. Because that's the thing I mainly care about, I guess. Um, okay, so when we open the shop, we want to add a specific lore and then thing. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Public void set lore. Wow, what a, what a, what a comedian I am. Let's do a, let's do, wait, actually item utility, you know, we can do public static. No, we don't need item stack. We just need void and then set item name. The name. And if we want to give it a color, a color. Okay. And then this should be easy. It's just uh item meta meta I'm actually gonna do this also differently. Set item name and then specifically for the item meta meta. There we go. Then I just call set item name and I get item dot get item meta. And then I just pass through name and color again. There. That 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 makes it easier because then I straight uh, I already have meta and then I could just do set display name. Ah, okay. This was changed to display name, which is really annoying. So I need to make a specific text component and I'm new to this because before you could just set the name. Now you can't. And it's this final text component. Name dot append. Wasn't there a append color of some sort? Yeah, Java is delicious. Trust me. It's the, it's the absolute best in the whole world. <laughs> color, text, oh Jesus, a text color. Interesting. And then I can just pass their color. Nice. And you can just pass their name. Hell yeah. And then we set text. There we go. And then we set the display name. I just hope text color isn't weird. If you know what I mean. And then we have to. Oh, I just realized we can only do it with item. Dang it. I thought it was smart. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Because we have to set the meta again. Unless we do it like this. Nah, we have to, we have to grab the meta. Sadly. Item meta 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 item dot get item meta. Meta and then item dot set meta. We have to do it this way. All right. Now I want to do lore, and we love lore. Lore. <laughs> 
let's set some lore. Lore utility. Set lore. How do we set lore? Very easy. We give it an array list of strings. Oops. Of strings. We have to do this like a hundred different times. So this is us assuming that we already know the lore for it. We already created it and we're just setting it on top. So we have to get the item as well. So um, item stack item. We have to get the item meta meta. Get item meta and then lore. Wait, no, not lore. Meta dot set lore. Ooh, they changed set lore. Interesting. What's set lore now? Lore list. No! No, I hate this! Why do you do this to me? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Alright, item that set item at the meta. Oh. Oh, I have a way better. Oh, the, oh, I'm so stupid. I'm s I'm so stupid. Why don't I just I just make setters, right? And then I just set it to a new item meta, then I can collect all of them together, and then I can just be like then set it. Why set it immediately? If I set it immediately, I'm going to overwrite what I already have. Fucking dumbass I am. Yeah, what the fuck? I'm a dumbass. There we go. Huh? Hi. 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 Okay. One of my long lost siblings just came. <laughs> Obviously not long lost. All right. So let's make a character item stack. Null item. Great. Let's make an item. This is character GUI, right? Yeah. So this is a specific GUI screen so we can make public fun or not public functions but item stack and let's call this uh character statistics let's just call it character statistics and basically with that we get a specific item that we want we want to pass through the player because we need the player because i'm not a dumbass i haven't touched java much oh, i i'm gonna be very disrespectful and i'm just gonna say I don't see the difficulty. <laughs> it's it's all just logic. <laughs> uh, what's this? Item utility. Item utility. Wait, I need to create a new item stack. So, um, item stack head equals item utility dot get player head based off of the player. Awesome. Now we have a head. We just say return head because that's what the end result is. Then we do, now here comes the fun part, what I was talking about, item meta, meta is, and then we get the head meta, holy shit, I'm so smart. And then we can do um, lore utility, or not, because I never made anything public static. Those are static, nothing's there. 
I can do item utility dot set item name and then we can set it to character I oh, know we have to give in the meta meta and then character eh, character statistics or just call it for for your stats keeps it simple and then we can do text color is new to me Can I do named text color dot screen? Can I pass that through without getting in trouble? Oh, I can. Oh, it's an interface probably. Or it's also just a component. I prefer C++ and C. How can you prefer C++? What is wrong with you? Oh my goodness. You crazy. You're crazy. You're actually mad though. What the hell? Imagine being like, hey, yo, I, you know, C++ fucking memory management and all that bullshit. Fuck yeah, let's go. Pointers. <laughs> I love it. Imagine. Haha, <laughs> it's logical. Imagine calling a namespace a fucking STD. I'm just saying. I'm 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 pointing it out. STD dumb. <laughs> I'm pointing it out. Not that great. <laughs> Hate it. Absolute. I don't understand. What does it exist? Okay, let's go with player leave because I can get the hash from here. Account get character using the player ID. Got it. And that's where I get the character data. Perfect. That's what I need. And the player ID is just player to get unique ID. Why is it called a hash map? Why isn't it just called a dictionary? <laughs> What's the difference? Okay, now that I have data. Oh boy, I just, oh fuck, I just noticed I screwed up, didn't I? Um, oh no. Ah, oh, this, ah. Ah, I screwed up, didn't I? Imagine making your life hard with Java. I don't understand, Java, okay. This is the weird thing about me. The only complexity I see in coding languages, and this is the reason why I'm really fast at learning them, is the syntax. The only thing I care about learning is the syntax because everything else is just API logic, right? And they're almost all always the same. And depending on what API you're learning, you basically just need to have a good documentation. Then you're good to go regardless, right? The logic is basically kept around all all uh languages except for the syntax and maybe some pre-preparations like types or some some bullshit but in theory it's all this i'm sorry but in theory i have to say it's basically all the same except if you do assembly fuck that shit that's different <laughs> assembly is fucking different any high level language same I'm a dumbass. I've only been doing this for a couple of decades. Oh yeah, Java, this is hilarious. I I, I was like, fuck it. I want to make a Minecraft plugin. And in 30 minutes, <laughs> I already added custom items, custom drops, GUI, literally. It's it's all just the documentation, the, the syntax, how it's written is all the same. You actually like assembly? Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh. Yeah. You're going to tell me what next? Oh, yeah. I actually use brain fuck. That is brain fuck, you know? You know what's actually... Brain fuck is actually so super optimized. You have no fucking idea. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Totally, 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 totally. Okay, I am currently thinking of how I can make the array list of the component. 
um, without overcomplicating shit for myself. Do I have to make a new array list? Yes. Okay. I'm just going to do a public void add lore. The lore. Um, we have the array list. Or oh, actually, 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 we return a component. In this case, a text component, and then we do a uh, get lore. Oh, fuck, that's not set lore. Make lore. There we go. Almost fucking died there. Make lore. Then we can have a string lore <laughs> in the text color. <laughs> color. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. Return new. Oh wait, return, what was it? Final? Oh god, I hate this. There, return component dot text lore color. Make lore. And then we just do lore dot add and then make lore. And then, oh my god, wait, that actually works. Oh, okay. It's so dumb, just to shorten this line. It's going to be 10 times more complex. <clears throat> okay, fuck it. I think I'm actually just going to straight up do it and do data util. Data UI util, data util, GUI util, data to GUI. Fuck, I don't know what to call it. Character GUI utility. <laughs> How do you spell utility? Utility. Utility. Okay, there you go. Oh my god, I brain lagged. Okay, I'm just gonna do get main level. And then we just pass through the player. No, actually, we just pass through character data. Character data. Data. Wait, what? But it is character data. There you go. Oh, my monitor's broken on that side of the screen. I need a new monitor badly. I can't see anything on the left side, which is perfect for coding, if you know what I mean. Okay, so we want to do int level equals, and then we can do data dot. Get main data, get level, so we have the level, we can do long, no wait, we're only getting the main level right now, so. We create a text component, text with the color, 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 we set to be white, probably named text color. Let's just make it simple. We just want to have something that works, right? The text is level, double dot, space, plus, level. Simple, relaxing, fuck off. Good. Then we can just do character GUI utility. Wait, I need to make a static. Fuck, I'm a dumbass. Dot get 
me know and then the data let's go and then we can just do the same lore add with a specific item i have to do the specifics anyway because i have to get it right um get main experience and with that i also have to add something to the character data um this control click right there we go um i have to add something to level data level data dot public long get required experience which is just this and i see the morning sun and i see the one with you just the two of us we can make it if we try just the two of us why does this not work let me guess it's because it's an int it's a double oh is it because pow makes a double fucking hell pow dumbass well now it's no longer okay screw you luckily fucking data types exist imagine <laughs> imagine using javascript <laughs> fuck that use typescript i actually didn't know that typescript was literally called typescript because it adds types <laughs> i'm a fucking dumbass but i'm just saying i did not actually know exp equals space current exp plus slash plus required exp character GUI utility dot get main experience data dot set lore for the meta and then lore and then we can have an item stack here in theory let's say in the second slot called character statistics and then we just give it a play <sighs> okay that's the dumb shit done fucking fuck off Michelin. i'm like mad I'm like actually disappointed, mad stuff. I'm not happy. <laughs> um. Stay with me. My All right. Alright, I'm trying to figure out how I called this function. I haven't made commands yet. Oh, we have to make commands. Hey, yo. That's some crazy stuff. <clears throat> okay, let's make commands. Have I ever made commands? Oh my god, this my screen looks so good when it's not broken. It would be, would, wouldn't it be amazing if I just, you know, added the command and the screen immediately works and I see exactly the statistics I want? Oh my gosh, imagine. Let's make command. No, not a class, you dumbass. Screw you. All right, commands and then open, open character menu. Okay, we have to implement a command executor because uh, this is a command and this is bucket. Bucket wants that shit. And then I think this will automatically implement the method for us. Ah, hell yeah. Um, we do want it by default to return false. And now we just basically do if sender is a player 
So let me just check that it's a player. Imagine it's not a player. Sheesh, what kind of bot is sending commands in our game? Um, we cast a player just so we have it. It's, you know, we want to allocate as much memory as possible because we don't give a shit. If player has permission, we don't need because... I don't have a permission command system yet, so... Do I? No, I don't. Okay. So it's really simple then. I just do character GUI dot open. Oh shit. Oh my god. I almost fucked up. What the fuck is C? Checker framework? I don't know where we're with dot net here. Jesus. Um, GUI dot open screen and we send to the player. Oh my goodness. Oh my go oh my. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's like perfect. It works. Holy macaroons. All right. Um In main, let's just register commands. After recipes, we can register commands. Actually, we should register commands first. Always add it in a neat little folder and then you can say um, how many commands you registered. I love doing this. Registered and then commands. If it's one command, it's weird. Sure, but if it's multiple. Register command. The name of the command is slash stats. Set executor and then new open mu. No, I don't want mu. This is not Pokemon. Open character menu. And that should work do i have to do anything i don't think i have to actually do anything which is surprising i think this just straight up works uh yeah register command it's a single i get it fun 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 um wouldn't it be fun if this worked first try yeah that would be amazing but imagine we're using Java as if that's gonna ever gonna happen. <laughs> ah, the server's still on. Alright. Into the arms of yours, but I don't need a care for me. Uh let's look if there's any errors. Please don't uh leak my IP, thanks. Loading seven recipes. Ah, uh, wait, get command string is null? You dumbass! What do you mean? It's right there! <laughs> oh, get command! Am I actually a dumbass? Get command set executor. Ah, uh, mm, I need to, need to, need to develop the command somewhere. I don't know where though. This is where I'm lost. Let me cheat a little. Okay, I found it. Okay. Commands. Uh, commands and then stats. Description. Opens the forager stat screen. And then I can give it an alias, and this, this is the, I can do alias forager, statistics, I should probably do them as small. Nah, forager and statistics.
Yay, fixed it. I have to make an automated system. Every time that specific thing gets called, oh, the set executor, it should just automatically be like, hey, yo, it's missing, add it. Could probably do that though. Every single class that is in commands, I can probably just have it automate that it adds it to the file if it doesn't exist. Oh my god, it worked. Actually surprised. Alright, now watch this. Watch the game die. Oh god, it worked. Ah, I didn't set the lore. I can take the head! I got the head! Ah! Oh god, my head is so cool. Okay, obviously I wasn't supposed to take the head, so that's one thing. But why didn't the lower... Oh my god, I drown, apparently. Um... The beauty of it all is when the sun comes shining through. Maybe a lore isn't what I'm looking for? I want to spend some time with you. We can make it if we try. Paper MC No Lore Show. You and I. <laughs> Wait, did I ever set the lore? I did, and then I set lore. Oh, I'm a dumbass! I never fucking said it. <laughs> but why did my display? Oh no, it didn't. It said Quartzy's head, right? Instead of Forager stats. Ah, okay, okay, okay. It was never set. My fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. Oh, that means any sorts of errors could come up now. Man. I guess the creation of the meta didn't break, so at least that part works. Maybe the setting part doesn't work because I did it wrong because the API changed. All right, let's see. Yeah, let's go. It's shit, but let's go. Oh, I still need to make you not be able to take your stupid head. You and I. Just the two of us. Yeah, just the two of us. I get it together, baby. Yeah, just the two of us. Wait, does that actually work? It doesn't. Slash statistics. Statistics. Doesn't actually work because I didn't register it to that. I guess even if it's an Elias, I have to register to the Elias. Which is kind of stupid. Wow, Rotten Flesh stinks? Mm -mm -mm. 
I'm sipping, I'm sipping, I'm sipping. Where you at? Oh, you got plans. Don't say that. I'm sipping wine in a robe. I look too good to be alone. How can I tell if it's a custom? How can I tell if it's a custom? Screen. So if you try to lay in these arms, play interact. No, play interact is okay. Play a join, play a leave, play interact, drop entity on death. Tell me what you're coming through. Into damage, entity spawn, inventory click. It has to be inventory click. On inventory click, get clicked. If get clicked inventory is not equal to null, then we can check if it's a custom inventory. There's so much love we could be making. Fuck yeah, dude. Inventory click. <laughs> okay, we have to implement the listener. Implement listener. Um, it's an event. Public void on inventory click. Inventory click event event. We just make sure player player is the player because someone can totally get someone else can totally uh, click on the event dot get who clicked. Well, it's a human entity, human entity, human entity. What is a human entity? Event dot get clicked inventory is not equal to null because wow it could be apparently. Okay, if event dot is there a way to determine if it's a custom inventory or not? Um, check if custom image detecting custom inventories without using titles. Oh, a much better way of doing this is would be to use the inventory holder in order to tell the difference between your plugins, GUIs, and other GUIs. For this example, we are making use of an enum. Yes, that makes sense. Ow. Ow.
Oh, why is this so complicated? Sunida, I'm the mafia, my mafia, yeah, we do it like a mafia. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay, apparently the easiest way is just to determine if your inventory screen is currently in a list or not. So when you open the inventory, the GUI should just be added to a list. And if it's in that list, then that means it's a custom GUI. Which I think is stupid. I think if you just create a custom, custom, custom GUI, that would be better. So if you just make a class called custom GUI. And you just implement inventory holder. You throw all the methods that need to get things, which is get inventory apparently. We can just do a custom inventory type or custom GUI type and then we just create a public enum custom GUI type I forgot how to make GUI enums I've never done an enum in Java. Java enum. Enum types, Java. Wait, what? It's a class? No fucking way it's a class. Yeah, it's just... Wait, is it not allowed to be public? No, it is. Fucking dumbass. Um, you mean public static final? Why would that do anything?
<laughs> All good. I'll look at it in a bit. Also, I was just going to make a uh, public class, actually. <laughs> it's public static. Do I have to have not at no? Yeah, I don't. Okay. Public, custom, GUI. And then we pass through the custom GUI type. Type the size and uh it shouldn't be a string it should be a text component but screw it it'll do for now this dot inventory is just a bucket dot create inventory this size and title i know you don't want that but that's what we're getting. Let's start GUI type equals type. All right, let's look at spicy link. Mm-hmm. That's right, my type gets a nun, doji manare. Okay, I just didn't know that they can be not set as private. Republic. Okay, on inventory, click. Ugh. We need to get the inventory holder. Inventory holder. Holder is event dot get click the inventory dot holder. And then we just check if the holder is an instance of 
folder instance of and then custom GUI and then then we'll just cancel the event Would be fun if this worked. Because then I have crazy ideas, basically. Yeah, I know you want a component. I know you get deja vu. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, hello. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah. How are you doing? Wait. My music is too loud. Hi. How are you doing? I am splendid. Great. <laughs> I'm doing stupid stuff because uh, Java not fun. Lua better. <laughs> Even though Lua sucks. <laughs> See? Lua is fun. But the fucking synth or the documentation for specifically Roblox Lua is fucking ass. It and... basically doesn't exist. So everything in Roblox that I ever made, I made custom. Even the physics in my game are custom. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Minecraft. I work on it. Yes. I'm assuming you seen Strim and you're like, yeah, I know. Yeah. That's up. Oh my god, it works. Did yeah, it the... works. Fuck yeah. Okay, cool. Huh? What's up? Uh, you said you wanted the uh, emerald armor, right? Oh yeah, emerald armor is one of the armors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. Got your sprites. <laughs> you made the sprites randomly? No, not really. I just recolored it. <laughs> ah, okay. Fair enough. You may recolor diamond or gold. They're the same. Uh, diamond, I suppose. Okay. I base it off diamond. Well, the neat thing is that Ace has a thing where he creates a color palette already made. Mm -hmm. All I have to do is just change that color palette and it does everything for me. Oh, shit. That, that's simple then. Uh, would you like to do the same for rugged leather? Rugged leather. Yeah, rugged leather. How would that work then? Well, it's leather, but it's rugged leather. So it's like messy leather. Yes. Well, rugged leather is dried leather more as well, but yeah, leather is dried. <laughs> A rough um, leather leather. Question: How will that? Leather work? Will it be like normal leather? Like it's yeah, color? yeah, yeah. It's well, no, no, no. You can't color it. You cannot okay. color it. Ow. Because the. Uh, Actually, maybe I don't fucking know. The leather in Minecraft is uh, like white, so there's yeah, like yeah, yeah. scale. Uh, it has also some odd components as well. In our case, it's not. But I also forgot how to do resource metadata bullshit. So. Might so require I'm a bit. So am I gonna make it a, its own color or do it black and white? Its own color. Well, I've only done the icon so far. I haven't done the models yet. The texture pack. Mm. 
so I'll f figure how to do that. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Okay, that, 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 inventory click. If instance up, we can just check if we can cast it into a custom GUI. Custom GUI. GUI is. Folder if GUI dot and move items, I cannot. Interesting. And we have to cancel the event. There we go. That makes this so much easier. And then in here, character GUI. Do we? I suppose that makes sense. God, why is the armor set much more detailed? Because fuck you, that's why. It's still using. Set name, color, dot. Let's see what else is there. Style, style, style builder, place text. No way. You good, bro? Okay, I need to figure out how to do one specific thing. And that is, I forgot what I was looking for. Lovely. I think it was decoration. Man, this is uh... Text decoration. Obfuscated, oh, that's actually really cool. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
What would be the default text decoration? Italic bold strike through underline obfuscated. Yeah, but what if I don't want any and I just want it to be normal? What is top build? Oh no, there is uh, people around me trying to kill because I haven't slept yet. <sighs> ah. Bum, bum, item. Um, what do I feed through again? I totally forgot. Ah, material. Oh, dependent on the player and the oh, that would be so cool. Oh my god, I can't read.
Pam 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 pam. Yeah, let's build again. Close the server. Oh, I gotta understand how the stupid text works because everything is italic and I hate it. Why is it always italic? That's so stupid. That's so badly named. I have to set italics to explicitly false, really? Bum, 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 bum.
Bum, 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 bum. Oh. Oh, hello there. Oh. Interesting. Okay, I found a bug. That's why I keep doing this check, apparently. Um, if event dot get clicked inventory is not equal to null. There we go. Okay, let's see if the stupid text is fancier now. But um, but um, dum dum dum. And after we finish this plugin, we're doing a Terraria, the same exact Terraria plugin. <laughs> but luckily, Terraria is a little easier. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wait, I need two more lumber trees. Okay, wait, let's just set out. Oi, swim. I need two log. One, two. Oh my god, it works. Oh, heck yeah. Now there's a shitty tree. Hey, Mr. Skelly. Ah. Oh, I forgot to show combat. Combat is a big one. Bum, bum, bum.
Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Okay, and then I just need to remove the already existing meta. Mm -hmm. Mm Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Item dot set item meta to item dot get item meta dot clear. Ah, clear is not a function. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's actually way cooler seeing it like this, but that's not what, what did you do? we want. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> So 
Hop. I wonder if this would work. <gasps> An error occurred. Oh no. I guess that doesn't work. Because meta is not. Oh, because it doesn't have a meta. What about stick? Just any clear item, basically. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Connection refused, douchebag. Oh, no, it didn't work. Oh my god, is that the item set? No fucking way. <laughs> How do I get rid of the sword meta? When in main hand, it's probably the item itself, which is really annoying. Um...
Oh, it's a generic modifier, I assume. Oh, it's an attribute modifier. Maybe I just have to get rid of the attribute modifiers. Oh, that's so annoying. Dot remove item flags. Oh, I don't get it. Sursa, do you get it? I mean, it's not a big deal, so. Ah. Public static item stack get mining. We have a switch based on actually not a switch because it's an if. And level, 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 if level. Yeah, if level is less or equal to four, or rather is less than five, then we return new item stack material dot wooden pickaxe and we always return a wooden pickaxe as if level is less than 10 we do stone Don't pick X, pick X, lol. What is more impressive, iron or gold? Iron, gold, diamond. Netherite.
Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Self slash and fusion chunk chunk slash slash region mining slash slash end region. There we go. And since we need, well, I guess not for this one, but for the other ones, we need character data up top. And then instead, we can do a character GUI utility dot get. data Become utility number data and here as well GUI mining Awesome. If this works, that would be cool. I don't know if it does. I don't stop her. Let's take a look. Yay, no errors. Okay, now in theory, I just need to level something up. Preferably, I guess, mining. I only have to mine a couple blocks, I guess. That'll do. I'm a little staircase here to hell. Yes, a staircase instead of a uh, elevator. Because it's cooler. Oh, we're in negative. <laughs> well, at least I think this gives experience. Wait, different block? Oh, what's this? 
tough. Not that tough, huh? I wonder how many millions of people made that joke. How close am I? I'm not gaining anything. Oh, because it doesn't work with this. It only works with resources. No. Oh, jeez. I need stairs. Yeah, it, uh, it works with stone, but not with thingy. It didn't set it up for that. <gasps> Lapis! Wait, I, I can mine this with... Yeah, I can mine this with the normal stone pickaxe. What is crazy? Soon. Fuck. Soon. There we go. My level five. Yeah. It changes. Okay, that's all I wanted. Yo, that's so cool. Yeah, it works. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Okay. I will take a break. Because now it's food. It's lunchtime. Oh. <sighs> bye bye